Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be looking at solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is a nice little catch-all approach to, do, to solving quadratic equations. In other words, I can use it for any kind of quadratic equation I can use to, use to solve. Quadratic equation, of course, is anything in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Quadratic formula, we see on the right, is x equal to the opposite, so don't think of it as negative, think of it as opposite. Remember, b, a, and c are all numbers. So when I say opposite of b instead of negative b, it means whatever the b value is, you put the opposite value there. So if b is negative, it becomes positive. If b is positive, it becomes negative. Plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So whenever I have a quadratic equation, the only step is I have to get all my terms on one side. So before I use the quadratic formula, all my terms have to be on the same side. Doesn't matter which one it is, they just have to be on one side. So here I have 8x squared plus 2x minus 1 and I put it into my formula. In this case, I note that a is equal to 8, b is 2, c is negative 1. So, putting it into my formula, since b is 2, opposite of b is negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Once I have this set up, it's a matter of simplifying. So inside my radical, this becomes 4. And since I have 4 times 8 times negative 1, that becomes a negative 32, so minus a negative makes it plus 32, all over 16. It's now a negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 36 over 16. I will continue on to the next page. So again, I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 36 over 16. I'll continue to simplify, make this negative 2 plus or minus 6 over 16. Now what I want to do here is, even though I simplify as much as I can in, in regards to the radical, I still need to simplify my fraction. This, this one is unique in that I have three, or my three terms, 2, 6, and 16, or the negative 2, excuse me, are all integers. If that's the case, then I can split this in, into two separate fractions and solve each. They are negative 2 plus 6 over 16 and negative 2 minus 6 over 16. And when I reduce each of these, this gives me 4 over 16, which is 1 fourth. And this gives me negative 8 over 16, which gives me negative 1 half. So, 1 fourth and negative 1 half are my two solutions. So, following, following my quadratic formula, I want all my terms on one side, put, put my numbers in, and it's a matter of simplifying as far as I can go.